What is up, YouTube? The serious King Cobra JFS with another video. And I'm going to do a rant about GTA 5. So last night was one of those rare occasions when I just went all out. I mean, several hours of extensive online play. And I encountered a few assholes, as I do when I play GTA 5 online, as part of the gaming experience. Um, I get people who put a bounty on my head for 9,000. All I did was enter a lobby. I didn't harass anybody just yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's some days I don't have to do shit but walk into a lobby and try to play the game. And people just randomly throw bounties on my head because they have that kind of cash to throw down. And I'm that usual bullshit. But there's one thing on GTA 5 Online that people do that just... Well, quite frankly, it's irritating to say the least. And what exactly is that? Now, in GTA 5 Online, if you're not buying the shark cards to buy the houses and all that clothing and the cars and all that shit and your guns and your ammo and then you're doing um, missions and what have you to earn some cash and sometimes in those missions people will set them up and they will say you get an invite on your character self kind of says you are invited to a death match or you are invited to a heist or you're invited to this or you're invited to that some form of mission that they will get a text on your phone that says you are courageously invited to do this mission with this player. And it's a great way for players to um, co-op with each other and earn some RP and earn some cash. But the thing I do not like about GTA 5 Online is that in some instances, and I quote, you get an invite to do a mission. And it doesn't have to do with anything, honestly. It could be the way your character looks. It could be they don't like you or your reputation on the game. They don't like the way your character looks. They don't like if you're too high of a level or your level's too low. It could be a number of things. But for whatever fucking reason, if the person hosting a mission like a deathmatch or a heist doesn't like your character or doesn't like you, they could just say, boom, you're kicked out of the invite session. It's like saying, oh, you're not cool enough to play the game with me. That kind of horse shit. And quite honestly, I don't like it. I don't like the fact that GTA added that. Well, what is the point of that? Now, they have that feature, like, let's say you have a player that's continuously harassing you, and they won't let up. And then they decide that they're going to pop in to try your mission out with you. That I can understand. It'd be like, well, you've been harassing me the entire time, and now you want to play a mission with me? Fuck you. You kicked out of the invite session. That I can understand. But when players have not harassed one another, and they just simply, oh, so here are my GTA 5 online cell phone that I've been invited to do a mission by such and such person. Okay, cool, I'm down. And you quit the online free roam to do a mission, and the person sees you and goes, huh. I don't like the way this person's character looks, so they're not going to do my mission with me. You get kicked out of the invite session. Really? That's not cool. And another thing, too, is that you get those people on GTA 5 who have all the cash, all the houses, all the cars, all the guns. And they know they're a higher level than pretty much everyone in that lobby at the moment. So what do they do? They go, let's fuck with some people just because we can. I don't know, YouTube, but to me, that's, that just seems kind of shitty. Especially if, and here's the thing, some people don't buy the PlayStation Network or Xbox, you know, online stuff that allows them to have in-game cash and spend on countless and countless and a countless bunch of things on GTA 5 online. Some people 
will sit there and do five to six to seven to eight, even 20 some odd missions just to get a couple like 60 plus stacked up. And then they finally have all this cash stored up. And this is the thing of it. Last night, I wanted to buy a rat ride truck and customize it. I thought it looked really cool on my character and stuff like that. So I sat there and I did a good six to eight missions and got over 60 grand stacked up in cash on the game doing missions. It took me a couple hours, but it was worth it. And each time I do a mission, I would mosey on over to the nearest ATM machine in the game so I could dispose of my cash <coughs> to my online games online gaming characters bank account. And I got a couple missions done. I looked at I looked at my online characters bank account. I had over sixty grand. I'm like, oh sweet. The rat ride truck cost about thirty four thousand. So I had enough to um customize it a little bit and maybe get some Morse mutual insurance on it. So I went online to the internet on the GTA five online to buy the truck and it said you don't have a place to store this vehicle, so therefore you cannot buy it. I'm like, what? Oh, dude, dude. And if you have not seen the prices of housing in GTA 5 Online, it's outrageous. I mean, you, you sit in there, you, you have to do at least a good 20 to 40 missions before you'd even have enough cash to, to get a house on GTA 5 Online or an apartment or whatever. I'm like, that is some bullshit. Like, you're gonna fucking sit there and pull that shit, man. That's just... Oh, dude. And then there's, there's this little problem. Let's say, let's say you've just done... Hypothetical, let's say you've done a shit ton of missions and you have all this cash stacked up and you're driving a stolen car or whatever to get to the nearest property to buy it. And some dick fuck comes by in his tank or on his jet and just <laughs> blows you up in your car. You're like, God damn it. Look at your cash. You still have enough to buy the house. You're like, all right. You may not have enough money to uh, buy the car, but you can do more missions to unlock all that shit, like, or whatever. So you, you're driving back to get that house, and the fucker does it again, and again, and again, to the point where you have lost several hundreds of dollars because you have it costs money for your character to respawn. And in some cases, when your character responds, when you have no cash, then they don't charge you. They don't make you owe money or nothing. It's just whatever. And when I say it costs you money, it's because whenever a player dies, a little, bit of, a, little, a little bit of their cash is left next to their online player's corpse, so to speak. So you lose a little bit of money every time you die on GTA 5 Online. And after a minute, you're sitting there going, what the hell? You had enough money to buy the house, but then some dickhead in a tank had to come by and blow you up because they could. Because they have more money than you and because man, they could. And all that time, the hours you spend doing missions, going to various ATMs across Los Santos and all over the GTA 5 online map, saving up all your money just to buy one house, just to buy one property. So you got a place to store one car. And someone comes by and fucking does that shit. And now you have to sit there and earn all that money back. It's not cool. Also, today I got into a bike crash. I'm all right. The bike's all right. It was just one of those fucking A, man. Um, I was pulling into the Ridley's parking lot as I was heading to work, and I saw a truck coming towards me, and I'm like, fuck. So I turned my bike to avoid getting hit, and I overturned, and I ended up, in the process, scraping the shit out of my right knee, hitting my left elbow, and I landed on my back, and I'm sitting there cussing up a storm and I lost my fucking temper and I gave my bike seat a couple of good kicks and various cuss words in between. Now the bike's alright obviously even after I kicked the bike seat the bike's alright. Kind of shouldn't have done that kicking the seat but whatever. Um, and uh, oh yeah I was limping at work today like literally for the time I was there but by the time I got off work 
I sat down and I had myself a sandwich and some fries, and uh, yeah, it stopped hurting. So I got on my bike and I pedaled home, and everything was good. But uh, you asked me how that bike crash felt. It felt like shit. Thanks for asking. But needless to say, when um, you ignore the assholes on GTA 5 Online, just be like, fuck the assholes and play the game. It's a fun game to play. And uh, I had trolled someone pretty bad on that game. I didn't shoot them or nothing, but I found an online player, and I didn't shoot them, but I drove circles around their car honking my horn nonstop to be really fucking obnoxious. And then, when I turned my car just right, my car fucking hit their car, and I then I took off in this direction, and they started chasing me. Boy, they were pissed about that, that one little hit of their car. Even though the car was already fucked up, they were not happy about that. So they started chasing me, and then just to fuck with them some bit, I stopped, flipped the bitch, pulled a reverse, and as I was spinning reverse, spun around in a complete circle, and came this close to hitting them, missed them by a second, and started burning rubber and peeled off in the opposite direction. And then they started chasing me. But I got so far ahead, they just said, fuck it, and they gave up. And they eventually left the lobby. I'm sitting there giggling, like, ha, ha, ha. In fact, yesterday on GTA 5 Online, I got the Marksman's pistol. I got a silencer for my AK-47. Um, my favorite thing to do, my favorite thing to do on GTA 5 Online is death matches. I love playing death matches. Um, I tried a couple of heists yesterday. On GTA 5 Online, I didn't do it too bad, except those those heists where one player dies and then the heist automatically fails because one of your teammates died. And you're like, fuck. So you're sitting there hitting whatever button you hit on the PS3, or I think it's R2 you hit to restart the heist or whatever. Um, but yeah, that's my uh, GTA 5 ranch when it comes to that kind of thing. Um, and there's been times though where People in the game have pissed me off enough, and it's just like, fuck, man, you know what I'm saying? And if someone on, G on GTA 5 Online is pissing you off, you don't have to be a dick and start shooting up the place because another player pissed you off. Because you start killing a whole bunch of other players, you know, you're kind of ruining their gameplay for them. But again, it's all part of the game, so, yeah. That's what I have to say about it. Well, anyway, this is King Cobra JFS with another video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.